I'm going to show you a live demonstration of how anyone can secure their images attribution and history data with content credentials beta in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by opening this photo I downloaded from Adobe stock. Before I start editing, I want to enable content credentials to make sure I have a complete record of edit activity. When I click this blue button to enable, you can see the attribution information I can include with my image. We can also preview that data as it will appear once the image is exported. So you can see that I can decide to share information about my name as it appears in my Adobe profile and any connected accounts that help connect me to my content and add a layer of identity reference for people viewing my work. I can also choose to include edits and activities based on actions taken. These are high level categories of actions that give my audience a sense of how this image came to be. You can also see a preview of the image that I brought into this document. So if I bring another photo in to remix this together, you'll see that appear here too. Let me go ahead and close this and move that out of the way and actually show you what that looks like. So I'm going to place another embedded image that I downloaded from Adobe Stock uh, of a shark on a white background. I'm gonna go ahead and select that background, invert it to create a layer mask and move this guy out of the way. So it looks like he is swimming next to the float. I'll also bring the transparency down a little bit so it looks more convincingly underwater. And if we open up our content credentials one more time, you can see the types of high level actions that have been recorded from color adjustments related to the change in transparency, combining them using the layer mask and moving the shark, which was a result of size and position adjustments. I also have my two ingredients reflected below. So let's go ahead and actually export this image from export as. I can select publish to content credentials cloud. Content Credentials Cloud is a public persistent storage for attribution and history data. Publishing to this cloud will help keep my file size smaller and make content credentials more resilient. So if my attribution data is ever stripped from my image, I can recover it through our Verify website. Of course, I can always select none if I don't want to include attribution information at this time, but let's go ahead and export. I'm gonna save this into my demo folder and we'll call it Swimming Pool. Now, if I go back to the panel menu, we can open up Verify and select the image. So Verify is a way to inspect any image's content credentials. I can see an overview of the ingredients that make up this image. I can also inspect individual ingredients and see links back to where they came from so my audience can decide to license this image themselves. I can even conduct a visual comparison to see exactly how things change over time. Now, if I take a screenshot of this image and drop it here, you can see I no longer have my content credentials. However, because I published this to the Content Credentials Cloud, I can find possible matches by running a visual similarity search. And here it is, my original search results. So now I know my data is always recoverable. That's the capture, edit, publish workflow to establish provenance trails from the Content Authenticity Initiative.